Grizz, you're pathetic. Grizz saw me get out the dog carrier and she's excited because she gets to go somewhere. I don't know how she feels about the fact that they're going to the groomers today. She's gonna get shaved, get her nails trimmed. And this one is finally gonna get her ears trimmed because they're out of control. And Vicky always said no, but now she realizes they're way too long. The little ear hair is way too long and it gets dirty. Huh, let's go. What is happening right now? Bins, day two. <clears throat> yeah, day two, round two, take two. We were gonna do a video yesterday, today's Sunday, it's 7.54. We were gonna do a video yesterday, we did the little intro, and then it was such a bad day at the bins, there was like nothing to really show for it. So we were like, scrap that. So hopefully today we, we find some good stuff. Mm -hmm. We can show a couple of things from yesterday. Um, but we just dropped the puppies off at the groomers. And uh, they're not happy with us, but no, but um, they're gonna love us that much more when we pick them up. So, is that so, how it works? Mm -hmm. They get very excited to see us, so. they do, they do. So, we'll definitely show you guys how cute they are with their new hairdos, all clean and shiny. Um, but yeah, what are we gonna find today? We're we gonna find some good stuff. We are, we're gonna find all the good stuff. It yeah. is New Year's Eve day, by the way, mm -hmm. um, which is a huge deal in Vegas in general. New Year's Eve is like the number one um, party destination tourist day in Vegas. New Year's Eve and 4th of July are the two bis biggest ones. So people that live in Vegas generally don't go out or like we're not going anywhere. Yeah, gross. Plus we also have dogs and lots of fireworks and it's mm -hmm. just, you know, they're going to be freaking out all night. So yeah. we got to be good moms and stay home. But it's a super busy party day. Here. Absolutely. So let's go party in the bins. Let's go party with dirty stuff. Yeah. So, how was your haul at the bins? Was, was it better than yesterday? Better than yesterday. Mm -hmm. Still nothing, like, outstanding. But uh, enough to show people in a little bit, yeah. Yeah, we weren't even in there for, like, two hours, so it was moving a little slow. I didn't see the manager. Maybe she's taking extra time off for the holidays, but I think we might try going again tomorrow, huh? Mm -hmm. Maybe so. Maybe so. Anyway going to pick up the puppies so can't wait to see how cute they are Yay. grizz is it so good to be home oh my goodness ripley look how cute you are your mom is very sad she might have cried when she saw your ears did you cry Oh, I think she looks cute. Are you ready for our first haul in a bazillion years? It has to have been at least six months. I don't know when we did the last <laughs> one, but probably I mean, a month ago. Why do I feel so tired? I want to take a nap right now. Me too. But I can't. But you've been sick for a bazillion years. So. I have been sick for two weeks straight. <sighs> and you've been crying because of the dog's ears. She doesn't look like a puppy anymore. I think she looks more like a puppy because she got trimmed up. Listen, those of you that have kids, you know how when your kids are born and when they're little and they're toddlers and they've got these soft little baby curls and then you cut their hair for the first time and those curls are gone forever and they never come back? This is where we are with Ripley right now. The hair was getting too long. She was looking like a scraggly mess. Ridiculous. All right, we're going to do our haul. I've got a couple things from yesterday mixed in with my stuff from today because today was better, but it still wasn't great. Yeah. I so. agree. But I mean, the weekends are busy. It's school vacation week. The bins are overrun with all the kids right now. And we're going to go tomorrow and you know it's going to be the same. So it is what it is. Yep. Just all right. work a little harder for it right now. Exactly. All right. Last haul of 2023, even though it'll be 2024 when this goes up. Why don't you start us off? What you got? Well, let's see. I got this cute little guy at the bins yesterday. Some of you might recognize him from the 80s. It's made by Tommy, uh, T-O-M-Y, uh, not Tommy, Tommy. And it's just Spot, his name is Spotbot. He's a he's little- cute. Yeah, he's got this little, I mean, I haven't checked the battery yet to see if he works, but come on, he's cute. It's like a little robot dog. Uh, anyway, some people price them too low. Uh, they can sell for like 75 bucks. And I think this will probably be one of those things that sells on Etsy for the 65, $75 range. I mean, he's super light. I probably paid $2 if that. He's so cute. All right. 
First thing I have, I don't even know why I got this. Uh, Vicky found I gave this. it to you. That's I know, but she that's not why I got it. Um, she found it yesterday, and um, I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I can't really sell it. But it's it's like somebody, first of all, I'll show you the back. Um, somebody like had a little project and like stitched this thing together. But it's a Gecko Hawaii, a vintage Gecko Hawaii. And I love the graphic on it. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I don't know. Maybe I'll it. looks get... like someone made it for like almost like a pillow. Is it open on one side? Because you could sell it as an, a pillow. Uh, it's not open on one side. It's sewn stitch all the way. Stitch rip it and open it on one side and put a pillow Babe, in it. Babe, it's stitched all the way through. Okay. So that would be very difficult. Um, the other option would be maybe at some point if I have like a kind of mediocre or regular, I don't know, maybe I have a denim, a hoodie or a denim, jacket. A denim jacket upstairs I can get Crystal to sew it on there. It's just cool. I don't, I couldn't let it go. I can't let it, uh, I can't let it go. Can't let it, what did you get, Italian all of a sudden? Yeah, some Misa balls. Uh, I don't know. Ridiculous. <laughs> all right. So this brand doesn't quite do what it used to do, but it's so worth picking up if you get it cheap enough and at bins prices and things. This is a, a Desigual, uh, just like a kind of a messenger bag or a tote. It's a little short for messenger bag, but I guess it does the whole fold over thing. Um, it's got a kind of cool graffiti artwork type thing. It's this vinyl. It's not real leather, uh, but it says like, say something nice, make the world a better place. Uh, you know, it's a mall brand, but they're a higher end mall brand. And for a while there, you would get very close to retail on reselling it. Kind of like Johnny was. It was one of those um, higher end. Uh, they don't sell for quite as much as they used to, but I'll still pick up the bags and things. Um, I think I can probably get like 45, 50 bucks for it. I like it. I like the colors on it. Yeah, it's cool. All right. Next up, Vicky found these today, and she, I don't know why she didn't grab them herself. I guess she didn't feel like it, but she said to me, like, hey, you should go see, uh, grab those and lot them up. It's basically, um, I have three pairs here. They're Tommy Bahama shorts, and uh, I didn't comp them or anything. I mean, I would imagine, like, Tommy Bahama shorts, maybe you could sell them for 15 bucks a piece. 20, or 25 sometimes, but yeah. Um, but these are, they're in really nice condition. They were at Goodwill for twelve ninety nine. Apparently, no nobody wanted wanted them for half of that. Also, uh, I don't see it on this one, but the other two all have the dry cleaning uh, tags on them. Yeah. Um, so you know they're like you know they're they're clean, they're in good condition, and they're so yeah. well taken care of. Like the like just the flat front chino. Tommy Bahama shorts, the three different color blues. So I have three pairs and I'm going to guess, I haven't looked closely at them. I'm going to guess they're all the same size because they came from the same guy. Um, but I'll probably just lot them up and maybe sell them for 50 bucks or 40 bucks, whatever. I don't know. I think 50 is good. Yeah, we'll find it. I'll, lot of three. I'll decide once I actually list them, but you're getting them at the bins with the three of those. Maybe I paid $4 altogether. So it's a good deal. Worth it. Um... Katie found this one for me, I believe. No, the, the, you found Oh, that. I found this one. Sorry. Uh, it's just a vintage tie, and I don't generally pick up men's ties. I will pick them up if they're like Hermes or something like that, and I do find those at the bins. I even pick up the Donald Trump ties because those actually sell really well. I don't know why. Whatever. Whole other conversation. But I still sell the ties. I'm all about making money, right? So this, these, this is like nothing super special, but if you see, it's got the Givenchy logo. logo. Givenchy. It's just vintage, Givenchy, Givenchy, however you want to say it, uh, with the logo on it, just a standard navy blue silk tie. It's really nice. I'll probably only get like 30 bucks for it, but what did I pay 50 cents? And they're so easy to photograph. It's like two or three pictures and you're done. Yeah. All right. Next up for me, uh, somebody had thrown this back, I'm assuming because it's cut off. But I've actually always had pretty good luck with selling um, cut-off t-shirts, like crop tops. You know, sometimes you can find them, they're meant to be that way, or they're like this and they got cut off. Um, but honestly, if it's a cool shirt, cool graphic, it's very in style right now for women to wear the crop top t-shirts, oversized t-shirts. Um, this is on the Fruit of a Loom tag. Uh, it is um, made, assembled in Honduras of USA components, so most likely, it doesn't have a date on it, but I'm gonna guess it's probably early Y2K. Um, and this is a Hudson River Whitewater Challengers t-shirt. It's got a really cool... I actually picked that up and threw it back. I didn't think you'd want it. You guys, this is what's funny because you, you think about like how all different resellers have different ideas of like what's valuable, what the, what's worth selling. And you would think after all this time, Vicky and I would be more in tune with what the other person would want. But there's so many times when I grab We're something still so and, I, and I'll show it to her and she'll be like, no. And I'm like, really? 
And so I still don't get it. But you would think with t-shirts by now. I don't know. Guys, guys. I handed you a different one yesterday. You didn't like it. So Which one was know. it? I can't remember. But. Yeah, the ones that I don't like, immediately I'm like, uh-uh. So we're the same about our own things. But anyway, how dare you? I mean, come on. It costs less than a dollar. I can at least get the, get like 30 bucks for it. Whatever. Maybe. All right. So this didn't wasn't a name that jumped out at me. It's Elements by Vaco. Uh, V-A-K-K-O. Vaco? Vaco? Whatever. Uh, but this is a really nice, soft suede skirt. And it's a long uh, A-line skirt with like a tie-dye pattern on it. I thought it was really cool. Once I actually got it home and looked up the brand, this is like vintage 90s Y2K. Uh, when I looked up the brand, I saw that the brand is actually sells really well and sells for a good dollar amount. I think I can probably get like 75 bucks for this. Uh, it's a very lightweight red goat suede, it says. Ooh. So somebody Poor killed, killed Billy and made him a skirt. Poor Billy. All right. Next up, I actually grabbed this. It was inside out, so I couldn't see what was on it. All I saw was the tag, um, this J America. Now, this tag isn't particularly anything special, but a lot of times you'll see it on, like, school stuff. Um, and so I was like, oh, I'm going to check out and see what that actually is. And this is, I mean, this is maybe, like, Y2K. Um, I don't really know a lot about the tag as far as dating it goes. Maybe it's Y2K. Um, definitely not 90s, but uh, it is... Cooley Law School. Now, Cooley, I believe it's a school in maybe like Michigan or I could just be making it up. But anyway, this is a law school sweatshirt. I never heard of that school. I always uh, will grab stuff. I mean, you know, I like buying like college stuff, but yeah. I especially like grabbing like the specialty things like if it's veterinarian school or, um, you know, the school of medicine or in this case, you know, law school. Uh, I especially like stuff like this because it's so specific and there's a lot less of it out there. Um, and you know, there might be somebody out there who wants to pretend like they went to law school and this is going to be their sweatshirt, right? Yeah. I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> I always buy like the weird obscure schools that I've never heard of because somebody went there, right? Mm -hmm. And that tends to sell more for me than the popular schools yep. because I think there's less of it out there. I actually just sold uh, a sweatshirt that I had gotten, um, from, uh, Jen Goodell from her stuff and it is like a smaller school and the girl like when she made her offer she was like this is my school and I really want to get this sweatshirt and she bought it yeah so, so yeah go. I think that's fun so I grabbed this because Katie was going to throw it back had I seen this I would have grabbed it for sure but she had it in her cart and then decided she didn't want to deal with it the zipper is not working entirely but so what okay so this is a vintage this is like late 70s type of tag here it is just a basic navy blue satin bomber jacket a lot like what like law enforcement wears uh play jack is one of the brands you usually see this one is timber king so it has like this fake fur collar but what it has on it that i thought was pretty cool is it has a it's from the state of kentucky clearly Ooh. so it's got a kentucky patch on one side but then it also has this patch here which uh is older and it just says it's the united states air force it's an older patch so whoever, and then you've got some cool little vintage uh, star buttons on the, like, pin back on the collar. I don't know. I just thought it was really cool. It's got the big, heavy uh, YKK or Talon zipper. I didn't quite look. Um, but big metal zipper on it. I don't know. I, I'm going to list it for like 125 bucks. I think it's pretty cool. I, I think, think and I think a, it'll sell. It's a great jacket. The zipper doesn't work at all. So, and the only way to fix it would be a complete zipper replacement. So which I, just, I I'm just going to sell it as is. They can replace the zipper. All right. I don't Fair do enough. that. All right. Next up today, while it wasn't a, a great day, there was one rotation where um, I don't know how many there were, but there were a, a bunch of t-shirts, all vintage t-shirts that were on wire hangers. Um, I happened to snag one and then I found another one later, but this is the first one I found. And then I saw like some of the uh, t-shirt bros um, had a bunch of them and they were all like 80s, early 90s vintage t-shirts. Yeah. Them. So I probably missed some really good ones, but I actually really like this one. It's a little yellow. It's going to need to be washed and, and bleached, um, but it's on the Hanes tag right here. It is dated 1985 and it's just your basic, uh, these wraparound print um, sailing t-shirts, but look at that. It's, it's got a really cool graphic and it's, uh, Biloxi beach, Mississippi is what it says on the front, single stitch. Um, you know, just your classic sailing t-shirt. I like it. I should be able to get 35, 40 bucks for it. I am working 
on um, lowering my prices a little bit because of the way that we're making changes in each of our businesses and wanting to have more sell through. Um, which speaking of guys, if you didn't watch our Sunday show, it's Sunday right now. So we haven't actually done our show yet, but this is going to come out probably on Tuesday. If you didn't watch our Sunday show, go back and watch it. It's going to be our year 2023 in review. We're going to be looking at our gross sales across all our platforms. We're going to look at some of our favorite uh, sales over the last year. And then we talk about um, our goals for 2024. So if you haven't watched that yet, make sure you go watch it. We good? We good? Okay. The other thing, one of the things I picked up is there was quite a lot yesterday of um, like, it looks like somebody cleared out their whole closet or maybe their husband's or boyfriend's closet and said, I'm throwing all this crap away. But it was some really good stuff. So this is, a, I've got a couple of Ted Baker sweaters. They're the same size. They're these lightweight merino wool. Ted Baker is a higher end designer. However, the resale value is not fantastic, unfortunately. If you were to buy retail Ted Baker, you're paying quite a bit at Nordstrom or whatever. You're gonna pay like two, $300 for a sweater. That's crazy. Um, I'll probably only get like 40 to 50 bucks a piece for these. There's two of them. There's this, this one here um, and then this one here, both very similar in style. Uh, they're very lightweight, merino wool. I thought they were cashmere. They're that soft, super soft and lightweight. But, and they are, the Ted Baker has its own sizing system. This says size five. Looks like it's probably a men's large. I haven't looked up their comparable size chart, but uh, I like them. Uh, but I wish they were worth more, unfortunately. They're not, but I still could. I picked it up because it's really nice quality. Yeah. All right, next up today, I found some uh, pretty cool button-down shirts. Today was the day of the button-down, apparently. Um, this one, I don't know this brand. It's Tomato, um, but based on the style of shirt and the label, uh, it's got a very cool, um, I would call, I would say that's probably, what, 80s, 80s. maybe 90s, uh, made in United Arab uh, Emirates. Um, but it's this really cool purple kind of stone wash. And uh, I really like these, the, the purple against the purple with these buttons. Um, so I grabbed this. I mean, I think I should be able to get like 25 to 30 bucks. Again, I'm not going for as high a prices. I need to be, I'm listing more and more and trying to get myself through a little bit better. Um, but this is just a really cool, I just like the style of shirt. All right, so this one, for whatever reason, didn't sell for $8.99 at Goodwill, which is weird to me, but this is another one of those brands. This sells, this clothing is for men and women, just like Ted Baker sells for women and men's clothing. Uh, this brand, Billy Reed, this is also a very high-end brand. This is a cashmere and wool blend. This is a woman's uh, like sweater dress. It's just a basic brown sweater dress. It's a lightweight knit, but it's really pretty and there's nothing wrong with it. And it's the brand is like, a really good brand. I think I can probably get $75 for this and it probably cost me $2. Very nice. Very I don't have a ton of vintage this week, I have to say, but. Yeah. All right, so speaking of, this one is not vintage. Um, now, I think I've talked to you guys before, well, we've both talked to you before about the brand Dixon. And like when we were in Colorado, I had gotten just like a plain short sleeve black button down shirt and sold that really like within a few days, maybe a week at the most for like 40 bucks. Um, so really anything you get Dixon, it has a great resale value. Even t-shirts. Uh, yeah, anything Dixon. Um, you know, you're going to get the most money usually from like the actual flannels, which is what their whole thing is. But they have a lot of different like just uh, short sleeve button down casual shirts. And so always, always grab them for a reasonable price. And of course, this is very light. So maybe I paid like a, a dollar for it. Um, it's a nice seat on it. It's not feet. What are you talking about? That? They're flowers. But what is in the flower? There's something in the flower. It looks like it has toes. It's <laughs> what the hell is happening? It's just the design that your a brain skull? has. No, it's not a skull. Anyway, uh, this a is. Clown head. It could be a skull. I don't know. It is Rosa Muerta. Is the is the a name clown on head? it? I don't know what the hell it is. Comment down below what you think that is right there. Is that a foot? Is it a skull? I actually, I think it probably is more likely a skull because this is, like I said, Rosa Muerta. Um, so that would make a lot more sense. It's kind of a funky looking Rose skull. With a skull? I don't know. Well, and Muerta is dead. I know. Okay. Anyway, uh, you're really taking us off the rails here, Sorry. Victoria. It looks like a demented cabbage patch. All right. Okay. Um, anyway, it's a nice big size 4X Ooh. and in great condition. Uh, it feels very comfortable and lightweight. Um, so minimum, minimum, I should be able to sell this for 40 bucks. Uh, like I said, Dixon is just one of those brands, easy, easy money. 
So I always pick these up. It doesn't even matter that it's an inexpensive brand, but this is very, very 90s. This is a uh, vintage 90s mud, mud brand. And it is this suede kind of, we call these the style of jacket, like a Penny Lane jacket. So you've got the faux fur trim on the sleeves and at the bottom. And then it has this little embroidery on the front. So this style jacket, uh, Penny Lane from Almost Famous, it goes for that whole like 60s, 70s vibe. But this is definitely 90s, but also, Phoebe Buffet from Friends made this particular jacket very, very fashionable. She wore this in uh, several episodes and then it became even more popular. Uh, so I'll be putting all that stuff and all those keywords in the themes and in the description, not necessarily in the title. I'll probably put Penny Lane in the title uh, because there's no nothing weird with that one. But um, I always pick those up. So I probably paid $5 for it at the bins and they sell easily for like $75 or more depending on the size the color and the quality, but that one's probably a $75 one. All right, another button down shirt. Now this is one of my favorite, favorite brands to find. First of all, because it's really hard to find. Secondly, because for me, it's very nostalgic from my childhood um, because we had these shirts. Now, if you remember, um, Vicki had never heard of this brand until she met me. And I don't know if it's just like a West Coast, East Coast kind of thing, but it's this Jimmy's, Jimmy's. I always call it Jimmy Z, but it is Jimmy's. Um, and you know, also, my grandpa's name was James Zilverberg, so we called him Jimmy Z. And, uh, but this shirt is, it's a little, it's dingy. It needs to be washed, maybe bleached. Uh, it's got some discoloration, some fading. But it's a really cool all-over print. Ooh, guitars. Guitar shirt. Now, Vicki, you had a button-down all-over print. What did you sell it for? It was over 100 bucks, wasn't it? I want to say like 130 It was some ridiculous amount. Um, and it sold fast. Yeah, and so. it was very similar to this. It was that same type of almost like a textured cotton and mm -hmm. it had, it was white with a black and gray print. I'll have to look it up, but I think I sold it on uh, Etsy. Yeah. So this is just one of those brands, a lot of like surfer t-shirts, kind of like ocean Pacific, uh, but you just don't see them as much. I think they, maybe they weren't as prevalent back then, but you just don't find them often. Um, so I was, this is probably the best piece that I found today. And I was really excited when I found it. All right. So this one Katie handed to me. Um, because she knows, she knows. So I like vintage hard rock stuff. We all know that it doesn't sell for a ton. There are certain pieces that will sell for more than others, but in general, it doesn't sell for a ton. However, I will say almost everything that I pick up that is vintage denim type button front shirt, doesn't even matter what the hell brand it is, what's on it, it doesn't matter. It's going to sell for a minimum of $40, probably closer to 60 or 65 for this one. But this is just a embroidered pocket shirt with Hard Rock Cafe. And then on the back, it has the all is one. It's like love all, serve all is their, their motto. And then I think this one's supposed to be New York. Did it say somewhere? I don't think it says. Well, maybe it doesn't say. Maybe I was just imagining that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, this was at uh, Goodwill, it looks like, for $7.99. I wouldn't have paid $7.99, but I'll pay like $2 for it. There you go. All right, my last two pieces were from yesterday. Um, this first one, I don't know necessarily how it's going to sell, but this is, it's not vintage. Um, it is a Puma kind of sweatshirt, pullover sweatshirt, uh, quarter zip, half zip, whatever, however you want to say it. Um, this is actually from the Formula One uh, Grand Prix that was here in Las Vegas in November. Um, now, this one actually has on the back, it says guest services. I was able to find a comp. Um, somebody had a jacket and this together that they sold for like 150 bucks. So I don't think I'm going to sell this for that because it's just the sweatshirt by itself. Um, but I mean, there's people who are real crazy about Formula One, and this is especially something that there aren't going to be a ton of them out there. Um, I mean, I would hope I'd be able to get at least 50 bucks. Yeah, I would say I was going to say 50 to 75. Maybe I'll price it for 70 and hope to get 50. Maybe price um, it as a, at 100 and see what you get. There's not like there's a dozen of them. I know, but I am. I didn't you hear me? I'm trying to work <laughs> on my pricing. Okay, fine. Because we're trying. I'm trying to make sales happen more frequently. Okay. All right. All right. Fair enough. I actually have four things to show, so I'm going to do two here and then I'll do two after Katie's done. So I picked these up today. I, I'm going with the, we're going in the trying to make 
uh, like Ed Hardy is back and Academics is back and South Pole, South Pole is back and Anchor Blue is back. I'm going to make Sean John come back, right? Same, <laughs> same era, right? So I got these vintage 90s Sean John uh, baggy, big size denim jeans. They're baggy. They've got a little tear in them. They've got this cool contrast color pipe down the back. I don't know. I'm looking at a bunch of them, and they look to be selling in the neighborhood of forty to sixty dollars. Nice. So uh, I didn't even look it up before I grabbed it. I was just like, "Yeah, same era. I'm gonna go and see it." Go. Let with me it. tell you guys. Remember how I had those South Pole jeans a few months back, and Vicky was like, "South Pole? What? Are, what are you doing? You're getting <laughs> South Pole?" And I showed her the comps, and the comps showed that like of the five, you know, five hundred were listed, and like six hundred had sold in the last ninety days. Well, now you go look at it, and it's like 500 listed, over 2,000 sold in the last 90 days. So even since I sold those for like $100, the South Pole sell-through rate and the pricing is insane. Stop telling everybody. Just kidding. Sorry. I'm go just ahead. kidding. Um, okay, so I also picked uh, this. I love to pick up anything that is like alpaca. I pick up a lot of those alpaca sweaters and ponchos, and I've even showed a skirt here and there this one doesn't really have a brand on it it just says 100 percent baby alpaca oh, which baby alpaca. i mean they don't kill them for it it's just the wool they just shave them um anyway so this is just a full zip front like cardigan it's almost like a jacket it's got slash pockets like a jacket uh, i would say this is men's a men's medium in a nice solid blue it's really nicely made and it feels really nice so i don't know what i'm gonna price it at but probably in the 75 dollar range a lot of the alpaca stuff sells very well you know how when they like shear the alpaca and then they look like they're a little too uh, little um q-tip because they're because they shave up but then they have this poof of a head it's kind of like what they did yeah. to ripley today and that is not true she looks so cute uh but we actually get to go see some alpacas sometime in the near future i found a. Uh, I found like a, a farm, it's like a hemp farm, but they also have animals and stuff there and all the reviews are really great where they treat all the animals really well. But you can go and you can feed like goats and sheep and alpaca and then and there's peacocks. Peacocks. So we're gonna go uh, check that out sometime in the very, very near future. And it's not very expensive. It's like $20 a person. You go during the week and you get like a private tour. So And the food and everything to yeah. feed the babies. And we get to see the little Q-top, Q-top, Q-tip headed alpacas. Look at all goofy. Go ahead. All right. So these are my last two things I'm going to show you. Oh, you got one more thing? I got one more thing. I'll do these and then Just go ahead. Yours. So I picked these up at the bins, one yesterday and one today. This was a throwback that someone else did. I was kind of watching as they were doing comps on this because I knew I was going to grab them. So these and may end up staying with me. We'll see. But this is the brand Fly London. When you see that brand on shoes or boots, it's a women's uh, brand. Pick it up. Uh, it's well made and it's quality. So these are just some really great black leather moto boots, like slightly above the ankle. There's some scuffing on them, but they're in a really nice uh, shape. They look like they might be my size, so they may not Ooh, boy. they may not be leaving the Ooh, house. Buddy. But I really like them, and that's my style. So I'm not wear those. If I sell them, I'll probably sell them for like seventy five bucks. And then I picked these up today. This is a brand that I did not know, but what I did see was that. Uh, I could feel that they were really nice quality leather, first of all. Perfect, soft, buttery leather. Supple. Uh, they do look vintage as far as that squared off toe and this type of heel. But that's a very 90s Y2K style. And I did see that they were also made in Italy. And they're new, right? So there's no wear anywhere on these other than the sticker on the bottom. But the brand is Paloma, P-A-L-O-M-A. -A, made in Italy, Italian sizing on them. I don't know, I still couldn't find a ton, but I'm gonna uh, list these probably for like 100 bucks. They're super Cute. lightweight. Cool. So I probably paid four bucks for them. All right, last last thing here, guys. Uh, now yesterday, I saw a guy grab this jacket and I was like, oh man, I was like right next to me. And like I was looking in the bin and I, it was right next to me, so it would have been the next thing I went to. And he picked it up and I was like, dang it, I wish I would have seen that. Um, Oh, I, did, I didn't see the tag completely, but I could tell it was definitely vintage. And I just kind of kept an eye on it and I thought, I bet he's not going to end up not getting this. He's one of the t-shirt bros, you know. It's like, they are sometimes very picky because they're not, they're there every single day. Um, they can't constantly be buying everything. 
Um, and he did end up throwing it back. And so I snatched it. Anyway, Ski Stuff by Pacific Trail. This is vintage. It's a down jacket. It's Pacific somewhat Trail dirty. Is a Walmart brand, but it, yeah. does, it still sells. Doesn't matter. Um, it's down. So uh, it, it does have some, um, it needs to be washed. It does not have the hood. You can see the snaps here that it did at one point have a hood that went with it. Um, but it's a really nice, um, you can see like the cuff. It's, you can tell it's like a very warm nice ski winter jacket. ski jacket uh, and nice bright red and of course down. So no matter what, I'm going to be able to sell it for, let's say, minimum 50. Again, I'll probably price it for 100, um, but it doesn't have the hood. It's not like an amazing brand or anything like that, but it is a great color and it's down. So it's cool. I it's love it. Cool. Probably one of the best things I found yesterday. Um, but that's it, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out and watching us. Um, we're gonna get to work. We got a bunch of work to do today. I'm right in the middle of putting away all of my inventory. I have not put away any of my t-shirts. I put everything else away, but the t-shirts just get stacked upon and stacked upon and stacked upon. And I know where everything is, so it doesn't take too long. But at a certain point, it's like I've crossed the point where it's no longer manageable. When was the last time you put them away? June of this year. And so I'm going to start the new year off with all of my inventory put away. And I'm very excited about that. But it is a project. I spent yesterday sorting everything. And today I have a little bit more to sort. And then I get to actually put it away. So it's going to be lots of folding. Have fun with um, that. Yeah. I thought you were going to help me. <laughs> oh, no. Even though somebody helped somebody else yesterday putting away their inventory, huh? That's true. It was already sorted. I just need help putting it away. Away. <laughs> No, I don't need any help. <clears throat> All right, guys. Thank you so much. Any last final words for uh, 2023, even though it's going to be 2024 when this video comes out. Well, then I'm just going to say Happy New Year to everybody. And uh, thank you for watching us and following us on our journey over the past, I don't know, six years now. And uh, let's see what 2024 brings for all of us. Yep. And again, check us out on our Sunday show when we go over our review of 2023 and talk about what we want to accomplish in 2024. All right. Ooh, I don't even know what that is. Oh, well, I guess we'll figure it out. We, yes. You have a few hours before the show tonight. Let's oh, figure that out. Uh, Pressure. <laughs> Bye.